Hey there! This is going to be a video tutorial on how to make a spiral ramp, as well as how to texture it properly. Uh, in this instance, we're going to be working with these two roads here. Uh, they have a height difference of 128 units, uh, and we want to make a spiral ramp between the two. So, to start, we want to use the arch tool. I'm going to create a box that is 512 by 512, and we're going to set our primitive type to arch and create object. Unfortunately, you cannot actually see the Arch Properties box uh, because I, I don't know how to record videos very well. I'm kind of bad at this. Anyways, uh, we're going to set the wall width to 128. Uh, what's important to note here is that our roads are actually 256 units wide. Uh, and this is because the Arch tool is kind of stupid. Uh, if you set the arc to 90 degrees, for some reason, it multiplies the wall width by two. I don't know why this is, uh, but we have to deal with it anyways. Uh, we're going to set the number of sides to eight. We're going to keep the arc at 90. We're going to keep the start angle at zero, and we're not going to do anything with add height. Uh, now, you can do stuff with add height if you want to. Uh, basically, what this does is it sort of raises each consecutive slice in the arch by whatever that value is, essentially creating a, uh, a spiral staircase. Uh, we're not going to be dealing with that right now because it makes the texturing a little bit more difficult. Uh, but you can use it if you want to. So anyways, we have our arch in place here now. It actually got in the right place exactly, so that's nice. Uh, so now we're going to open the face edit sheet. Again, you can't see it because blah, blah, blah. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take this face, and we want to make sure that it's aligned properly and everything, which it is. Uh, and now we're going to alt-right-click on this other face. And basically what's that, what that's doing is it's sort of like extending the texture out and folding it over that edge. It basically makes sure that where those two faces meet, the texture also sort of lines up properly. And now what we do from there is we start on this face, and we alt-right click onto the next one, onto the next one, onto the next one, and so on. And so now we're sort of wrapping that texture around, uh, and now we want to start the inside of each curve and alt-right-click on the top face. And when you're done, you'll find that you have a nicely textured curve. Uh, and then also, if you want to, uh, we will take this down and do that as well. So now the top of this will line up with that nicely. Uh, you can also use the outside. Uh, they will give you different results. They'll, they'll be a, a Roughly the same, but you can do whatever you want to. Uh, experience is the best way to find out uh, what works and what does not. So now, uh, what we're going to do is actually create the spiral ramp. Now, the, the issue we have with this is that basically what we would do is we take the, the vertex tool and we would take each of these, these sections and raise them up in, in sort of a ramp fashion. Uh, but what happens is this face right here is not flat. Hammer doesn't like that. Source Engine in general does not like that. Uh, it's just because of the way that brushes are made. Uh, it, it causes a whole bunch of issues, and so we want to avoid that. In fact, uh, you can't see this menu. This is uh, a repeating thing here. Uh, but if you go into the map uh, thing here and you can look at check for problems, uh, you can also bring this menu up by hitting Alt-P. And there will be an item in the list that you cannot see in this video uh, that says Invalid Solid Structure. And basically what this means is that's fucked. Uh, and you can't use it. So you want to avoid those. Basically those any brushes that are invalid will disappear uh, whenever you save and load your map again. Uh, and they will also cause problems when you try to compile your map. So the way that we get around this is we use the clipping tool, and we take each face, and we clip them into two triangles. Uh, the special thing about triangles is that you can't really make a non-flat triangle surface in 3D space. Uh, basically, any face can be defined by three points in, in 3D space, and they, they have to be defined by three points. This is actually how the... the uh, the structure of brushes works in source is it remembers the faces by storing three points and then it just looks at where all those faces intersect and creates a brush from it. 
so now by splitting these all into triangles, when we go back and vertex edit stuff into place, uh, we're not going to have any issues with uh, non-flat faces because triangles have to be flat. So now that we've gone through and done all of this, we can go in and vertex edit everything into place. Uh, now one thing that you want to note is that we are going up 128 units and we have 8 slices. And so what that means is we have to use some math and figure out uh, how much higher each like ring of the shape has to be than the previous one. Uh, and so what you basically do is you just take the height difference and divide that by the number of slices, and that's going to give you the height difference between each slice. Uh, you, you'll you have to figure that out beforehand, uh, before you start. Uh, in our instance, because we're doing with 128 height and uh, 8 slices, each slice is going to be uh, 16 units difference. And so now we just move everything into place. This is the very exciting part of creating the spiral ramp. And once we have everything moved into place, you have a spiral ramp. Now the unfortunate thing with this method is that you will note that things aren't really quite flat. It's kind of hard to see them. Uh, so we'll go ahead and retexture this with a grid. And when you look at it, you can kind of tell that it's not flat. It's easier to see when you have lighting on. Uh, but, oh boy. Oh boy, Hammer, what are you doing? What the hell? Okay, thanks, Hammer. Okay, anyways, the textures are broken because Hammer's Hammer. Uh, but that is how you create a spiral ramp. Now, there is a way that you can create a, uh, a higher resolution ramp. And that helps sort of solve the, the issue here that we're having with the, the bumpiness. Basically, what you would do is you would actually create two of these ramps. Uh, and the ramps would fit into each other in a circle. Uh, so actually, I can go ahead and demonstrate that right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and create an arch. And then we will create another one. Hopefully this works out. Nope. Okay, I got the sizes wrong. I'll create three. I think this will work. Yep, that's the right size. Okay. Shit. Uh, so basically you would do this. You want to make sure that the two combine to actually create the, the right uh, width of the road. Uh, but basically you would do this whole process twice. Uh, and make sure everything lines up and then you would basically have a ramp as twice as many triangles and therefore be uh, twice as smooth although it's also a huge pain in the ass so maybe you don't want to do that uh, I'm not actually going to be demonstrating that but it should be pretty easy to figure out uh, and one other thing to note is that um, in the instance that you're creating a spiral staircase uh, you may want to clip it uh, because it's sort of a thing where when you're going up a staircase and the stairs aren't clipped, then you're like bumping up each stair, uh, and it's really annoying to do that. So the way that you would clip that is basically use this method and then just texture it as player clip, and that would create clipping for that spiral staircase. Uh, so that, that does it. Uh, that is how you create a spiral ramp in the Source Engine.